happy Saturday. Uh, I think at the point that I've been discussing, I was talking about the lifestyle that I had led that led me to prison. And uh, one of the stupid things that I had done in my uh, teenage years, I joined one of those California-based gangs. Uh, and uh, and I, I just had a problem right away because the people who were supposed to be the enemies or whatever are people that I've been knowing and grew up with or around or something like that. And I'm just like, man, I ain't finna be involved in shooting at them. We ain't finna shoot at them, whatever. So I spent a whole lot of time stopping shootings. And uh, and then uh, when I see certain people, I still just be like, hey, what's up? I don't care if they from the other side. Like, hey, what's up? I just see him. Like, So the stuff was kind of dumb to me. And then uh, after uh, some time, I just couldn't take it no more. So I just straight up quit. I just went down there to the area that we was always grouped up at. And I just told them I quit. And I ain't wearing this rag no more. Uh, what what gang said it was don't really matter because uh, it's a California-based gang. I ain't from there. Never been to that set. Never even lived on a street number that was equivalent to the, to the set that I was so-called claiming. So basically I was just a follower. I, I wasn't from the hood for real. So I got a brand on me for no reason, you know. It's partially removed, so it don't say nothing no more. But even still, that's just one of those dumb courses, you know what I'm saying, that I took. But I will say uh, this, that uh, <clears throat> when I had got out, I had a probation officer. Her name was Dora. And uh, she had told my mom that if I, uh, if I got that brand, removed from my shoulder she would uh, uh release me from pro from probation early and so uh that's what she did because i think i had like two and a half years and i think when she cut me off from probation it was like two years or something i had served on probation and so uh i was the first person in omaha to get out of uh, uh, of the game and be taken off the gang file. Now, I don't even think they'll take you off the gang file. They just put you as active or inactive and they just keep watching you. So anyway, that's another one of those things that I did. So uh, I'll talk some more about my thoughts on uh, that gang banging stuff later. But uh, I just wanted to bring y'all up to speed on that. I'm heading to work right now. And uh, I'm going to do some more recording when I get there so I can just keep telling you all this story. It's crazy. All right, good morning.